Okay, I'm having recording issues. Uh, anyway, I drove this off the table. Not the desk, not the workbench, the kitchen table. I was testing out the steering to see if the bumper and tire contact, which they do. And I, I was on a roll this morning with this thing. Repainted the, the roof, got a really nice paint job on it. Uh, which isn't so nice now. Um, painted the speaker box finally. Painted the floor where I had made that piece. Did a lot of little touch up paint to it and whatnot. Took some window tint film and it tinted the windows. And this one came off. That's just film. Uh, anyway, the windows were in it, good to go, driving it around, avoiding a salt shaker, drove it off the table, four foot, or three foot to a hardwood floor, it knocked this tire off the bead, knocked the rear drive shaft out of the other end, uh, speaker popped out, this was still playing music. That was still making engine sounds. It was hilarious. It broke the roof back here. Broke the windshield frame. Second time. So, first time was dead center. I glued that back and then put this big magnet thing there to hold it together and stiffen it up. So this time I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some metal wire behind it and glue it in there. Maybe that'll solve that problem, but hey, kudos to Orlando Hunter. Hats off to him big time because nothing there broke, nothing bent. That aluminum chassis and, and those axles, they are strong. Three foot to a hardwood floor, and this thing is heavy. This is by far the heaviest one I've got because of all the speakers and extra battery and everything. So, yeah. But that was that. Back to the shop. Um, so, I was doing some other stuff. I'm waiting on paint to dry. And I picked up my X01 chassis. And I had originally, when I first started building it, before I got the Gamey RC Baby Fat Girl chassis, which I took apart my X01 that I never drove to put the axles and everything into the Gamey RC, which is that one. Charge on the battery. Um, anyway, I had made a plastic hood for my X01 chassis, and it came out pretty decent. It's just clear plastic, flexible. The front was a little short right here. Uh, anyway, the, the red paint, doesn't like to stick to it and it keeps flaking off and it was getting on everything it was, it's everywhere so I used this as a template and traced it out onto a piece of aluminum and made a nice aluminum one and you can see there's one hole that I drilled right there straight into the frame Right into the chassis. Didn't go through all the way. It's a really short screw. It's one of the little body screws. So it fills it in really good. It's a little gap all the way around it. Yep, yep. So eventually I will get this together. And then I'll have the Do Rock the X01 and the Baby Fat Girl and my Jeeps and everything else are all basically on the back burner waiting. Everything was breaking or waiting. So and I'm not sure what's going on with my little baby fat girl uh, battery that I made. It's a 2S out of these so it would be 280 milliamp hour 
took two of these and made that. So those are inside of there. Had to squeeze them in there, but they're in it. Uh, but I've got this charger that came with my son's Tacoma. I said Tacoma Tundra. Um, this charger that came with it charges up to 200 milliamps. And this thing, it, it won't last hardly any time at all. And it goes dead. It's not completely dead. It'll still go forward and backward, but the steering stops completely. Just will not steer. So, I'm trying to think of maybe. I really don't want to take this thing apart and redo it. I like it. Uh, I gotta find a battery that'll work in it though. I hate having to put the battery up here, even though that looks kind of cool. Kinda. Not a lot. The roof rack was a neat little, neat little idea. Don't even know where I got that piece of metal. Um, but yeah, I think I just need to take a break from them for a while, and gather up ideas and whatnot, and parts, and kind of start fresh again because it's one thing after another right now. Tow truck still works. Tow truck's great. Works awesome. So, just wanted to show that metal hood. aluminum don't know why I just decided to do that got tired of that paint flaking off I'm getting all over the stuff anyway back to Google and YouTube to see if I can figure out something else <laughs>